Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do what I feel like will be a go-to look for me this year. I do this video every year where I share with you guys like an everyday routine for the year. So this is what I feel like I will be reaching for. And again, my vibe for 2021. I feel like it's very different than how I started out last year. Last year's everyday makeup was like a little bit more on the glam side and honestly, this year, I'm just feeling like being more of myself. And what I mean by that is a little bit more of a natural makeup look. You guys know how much I love natural makeup looks anyway, but I feel like I'm really into just enhancing what I naturally already have, not going too overboard on an everyday basis. And I really wanna be using products that are reliable. I also really want to start using a little bit more clean beauty in my routine. I'm trying not to overwhelm myself with that by like completely transitioning, but I do feel like it's really great to find new products that are clean that replace some of my current favorite products. So I'm going to be sharing some of those kinds of products with you guys today. I'm actually so excited because one of my very favorite brands, Bite Beauty, is sponsoring today's video. This is another full circle moment for me. You guys know how much I love Bite Beauty. I've been using their products for years and they have an incredible new mascara that I have been testing out for two months now. I took this mascara testing very seriously because you guys know how picky I am with mascaras. I can't wait to finally be able to talk about it because I have been using this off camera for literally two months. So I'll be explaining all of my product choices as we go, but we're going to start off clean face. I really have been focusing a lot more on skincare recently. I mean, I've always really enjoyed skincare, but especially moving into 2021, again, I feel like I just want to show more of my natural skin. I want to just enhance what I naturally have on an everyday basis. I'm not completely, you know, getting rid of a glam makeup look. I will never be able to do that. I love love doing a full glam makeup look, but I'm just talking about every day. So for the skin, I want to do something a little bit more sheer. So I'm going to be using the Say Slip Cover Broad Spectrum Tinted Moisturizer. Mine is in the shade 2. And again, I'm just wanting to use products that enhance what I naturally have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with a foundation brush all over the skin. I'm not gonna use a primer today because I feel like this kind of a makeup look doesn't require a primer. We're just keeping it simple. That's another thing that I wanna do more of in 2021 is just simplify things. I feel like there's always a time and place to be extra, but there's also always a time and place to be a little more simple and just give yourself permission to, yeah, just simplify your life a little bit. I feel like for me personally, I can sometimes complicate things that don't need to be complicated. So this year I want to do a little bit more slowing down and a little more simplifying. Okay, so now that I have that all over the complexion, you'll see that it still makes my skin look like my skin, which was the point. I'm going to go ahead and use a product that I really have been enjoying for more of a hydrated kind of a look. So you'll know that I have like acne scarring on my complexion. So I like to use a little bit more of a full coverage concealer. So this one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Like I said, I am trying to use a little bit more clean beauty products this year, but I'm not trying to overwhelm myself either by completely replacing my routine. So I'm just dotting this on the areas that I feel like I have redness. So over blemishes and also underneath the eye area. And I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in with my sponge. Okay, I feel like now my skin tone's a little more even, but it still looks natural, which is what I'm going for. I took what was left of the concealer and applied it on the eyelid to cancel out discoloration there. All right, we're gonna go into bronzer. You guys know how much I love this bronzer right here. This is from Bare Minerals. It's the Pro Glow Liquid Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. I'm just gonna take one pump of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to kind of warm it up on the back of my hand with a brush first. And then I'm just gonna start placing it on the areas that I want my complexion to be a little more bronzed. And then I'm just gonna take my time to blend this in with the brush. I'm using that along the jawline and down the neck as well. And I'm also making sure to blend it into the hairline. This bronzer is so foolproof though. I've talked about it so many times on my channel and I just love it so much. I'm going back in with the foundation brush and just kind of cleaning up the edges underneath the cheekbones just to create a little more definition there. And then I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and just make sure the edges of that bronzer are super blended into the tinted moisturizer and the concealer that I'm wearing. All right, so far so good. We're going to add a little bit of powder. This is my current favorite powder from Ciate London. I just love this for every day because it is translucent, but it has such a beautiful texture to the point where it really locks in my makeup all day, but it doesn't look heavy on the skin. It's seriously been my go-to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set the under eye area. 
And I like to really press the powder into the T-zone for me personally because I do tend to get oily there throughout the day. So I like to make sure that the powder is really pressed into the skin. I find that that helps with longevity. And if you're gonna bother to do your makeup, you really want it to last, so I always love to do that. I'm gonna run it through the brows a little bit. I find that that helps my brow pencil stick. I'm gonna kind of pat out the concealer in the crease and use a bit of powder to set that as well. And then I am gonna take a larger brush and just pat a little bit of powder around the rest of the face. Again, just to make sure we have longevity in the bronzer and the other products that I'm about to apply. So another reason why I love this powder is because I feel like I can gently go over it with my sponge and it completely lifts up any residue that might be left and it makes it look like it's your skin. It's really such a beautiful powder. All right, let's go ahead and do the brows. I've been just obsessed with this all over again. This is from Milani, it's the, whoa, I'm dropping stuff. This is from Milani, it's the Precision Brow Pencil and I have mine in the shade Espresso. I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows with this. I featured this in my best of 2020 drugstore video and it really is so amazing. So I'm just gonna fill in the brows. I'm gonna try to make them look as natural and as fluffy as possible. All right, brows are on. We're gonna go ahead and finish up the complexion and then we'll move on to eyes. I'm seriously dying to show you guys this mascara. For highlighter, I wanted to use one of my very favorite highlighters. This is from Honest Beauty, which is also a clean beauty brand. You guys know how much I love this highlighter. It's one of my very favorites, especially for every day. So I'm just going to apply this on the high points of the face. It's so foolproof. I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that down the center of the face as well. Just for that like barely there lit from within glow. And then I've been super into bright pink blushes. So I wanted to use this one from Lawless. This is the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in the shade Sakura. And I have been loving this for every day. I feel like it just adds that bit of life back to the skin. And it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, which I like. So honestly, on days where I'm even more lazy, I would totally just skip the highlighter and use this blush. And it will kind of give you a two-in-one effect, which again, saves time, makes things more simple, which I'm all about right now. So I'm just gonna brighten up the complexion with this. This part would be optional. If you want a little more warmth, you can add um, a bronzer. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this Honest Beauty Dusk Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder over top of the Bare Minerals bronzer just to, again, set it and help it last a little longer. And we're adding a little more warmth as well, which you guys know how much I love bronzer, so a little more bronzer never hurt anybody. Okay, for an eye look, you guys probably already know this. When it comes to every day, I love to reuse products that I'm already using on the face. So I'm gonna take my powder bronzer and I'm going to kind of shape out the crease a little bit with this with just a little bit. You really don't even have to think about this. Just kind of like blend it really quickly into the crease to create a little bit of definition, especially since I put concealer on the eyelids. I do want to kind of bring back a little bit of dimension since I kind of flattened it out with the concealer. But taking a little bit of that and putting it along the lower lash line as well. Then I'm just gonna take the same exact brush, dip into the highlighter that I'm using, and keep in mind, you guys, you can like follow along with this with just your favorite products or whatever you have on your face, like whatever highlighter you used. You'll get the same effect. But I'm just going to apply this onto the eyelid just to create a little bit of light there. And this is one of my favorite things to do when I'm wanting a more mascara or lash-focused look. Applying a lighter color along the lid really, really helps your lashes pop. So it's one of my favorite tricks when I know I'm not gonna do like a full on eye look, but I want to wear mascara. I feel like it always works and looks really pretty. I'm also just gonna take the tiniest amount of the blush that I'm using on the same exact brush. And we're just gonna kind of blend this into the outer crease a little bit, just to tie in all the tones. So the eye look is literally barely there when it comes to eyeshadow, but this is where the mascara comes in. And I'm so excited I can finally talk about this, you guys. Like I said before, I am so picky when it comes to mascaras. So when Bite Beauty reached out wanting me to try out this mascara, I love Bite Beauty, so I was like, sure, I'll try it out. But honestly, I didn't have any expectations because I'm so picky when it comes to mascaras. So they sent this to me about two months ago to start testing, and it just recently launched. So I've had to keep it a secret for like two months. But as soon as I tried it out, I fell in love. I've been genuinely using this and I can't wait to share with you what I've learned, how I feel about the formula, what the formula is like, application tips, etc. because I feel like I'm so familiar with this now. So Bite Beauty has always been one to make really, really high quality products that have really amazing ingredients in them. They're always clean. Their formulas are vegan. So the same thing goes for this mascara. Here's what it looks like. I'm so happy 
happy to finally show you. This is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. It's called the Upswing Mascara because it really, really holds a curl, which I'll show you guys in a second when I apply it. Let's back up a little bit and talk about my personal mascara preferences as well. I love a volumizing mascara, but I'm also so picky. It cannot smudge or flake on me. And this mascara has genuinely passed the test, you guys. I've troubleshooted it in so many ways and it lasts so well on me. So here is what the applicator looks like. It's a nice hourglass shape, which I feel like works so well when it comes to a volumizing formula. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical when it came to like a clean vegan mascara formula. I just wasn't sure if the performance would be there, but let me tell you guys, it genuinely is. And let me just show you because I feel like showing you will do more for you than words could, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this. I like to look down in my mirror when I apply this mascara because it does such a good job job at curling the lashes. I don't want it to be so curled to where it hits my eyelid, so I have found that looking down in a mirror really helps with this formula. I go back and forth between blinking into the formula and then kind of wiggling the brush from root to tip. I was actually wearing this mascara in my December favorites video, and I feel like half the comments were literally like, what mascara is that? So I'm so happy I can finally talk about it. Um, one of the cool ingredients in this is actually tree berry wax. So they replaced beeswax, which is what a lot of mascara formulas have with tree berry wax, which I don't think I've ever tried in a mascara formula, but clearly it works. I love to build this up. You can definitely do like just a couple coats, but you guys probably know me. I love a very, very voluminous lash. And that's another thing I like about this is I feel like it genuinely does build really well. I'm going to apply this on the lower lashes as well. Okay, I mean, come on. I did one eye so you could see the difference. Another little thing I really love about this is when you close the mascara, the lid kind of locks and clicks. I know that's something that just like is an extra bonus, but I really like that because I feel like it's gonna keep the mascara from drying out, which is great. So hopefully you can see the dramatic difference. You can see how my lashes are very curled. I don't ever use a lash curler because I feel like my lashes are already pretty naturally curled, but I can tell that this lifts my lashes and it holds it all day long, which I really love. I'm genuinely obsessed with this mascara, you guys. I would not just be saying this, especially after testing it for literally two months straight. I love this. And it's so nice to be able to have a clean mascara that performs and outperforms so many of my other mascaras. It's just so good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this mascara to the other eye. And here's the thing. Yes, I have very naturally long lashes, but because of that, I feel like that's why I have become so incredibly picky with my mascaras because my lashes are so long that they usually, with the right mascara, will touch my eyelid up here and will smudge or flake so easily. And I did not experience that with this, even though I feel like it curled my lashes and it kind of made my lashes touch that area a little more. I did not find that it smudged or flaked on me, which is amazing. All right, so here's how my lashes look after applying the new Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. If you can't tell, I am very passionate about this because it has genuinely been like my go-to mascara recently and I just can't believe that it's a clean formula. So if you've been looking for something to maybe replace some of your current mascaras or just to add into your routine to kind of have a little bit of a better formula option that performs like some of my very favorite mascaras. So if you guys want to try this mascara and I highly recommend you do, it's available on bitebeauty.com and also at Sephora. I I will have everything in the description box down below. And Bite Beauty was actually kind enough to give you guys a discount code. So you can use the code ally 20 at checkout on bitebeauty.com. It'll give you 20% off so that you can try out the new Upswing Mascara, which I would highly recommend you do. So if you're interested in trying it out, I will have all the info and the discount code listed in the description box down below. And I know that so many of you guys will also love it, especially if you have enjoyed my other mascara recommendations. You do not wanna miss out on this. It's so good. All right, so my makeup look is pretty much done now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a very simple lip. I wanted to use this Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. They have so many gorgeous shades in this, um, but I'm gonna use the shade Sugar Cane today. And for a more everyday look, I kind of want to focus the uh, lip color along the outside of the lip. I've been doing this recently, again, when I just want a fuss-free kind of a lip look, I just kind of focus my lip product on the outer edge. So it creates a nice defined lip shape, but I leave the center kind of bare. 
And I find that that just kind of helps the lip product wear off so much more naturally to the point where you don't have to worry about what it's looking like versus having, you know, a pretty opaque solid lip color across the entire lip. Then you kind of have to check on your lipstick and make sure it hasn't smudged or faded weird in the center. I'm just gonna blend out the edges with my finger to make it even more soft and natural. And then I'm gonna take a gloss. You guys know how much I've been loving the Kosas Wet Lip Oil Glosses. And this is the shade Jellyfish and I'm literally just going to apply that all over the lips just for a super natural looking shine like it almost looks like i'm not wearing anything on the lips which is what i'm going for all right let's step back and assess the situation really quickly i'm going to take what's left on the bronzer brush and just make sure my complexion is nice and bronzed i also want a bit more blush because i am just a blush person so i'm taking more of that lawless blush and just applying it to the apples of the cheeks this is where i also usually check for mascara marks and dust them off but looks pretty good to me i've been really into like hydrating face mist recently so i'm going to be using this honest beauty common go face mist and i'm going to make sure to kind of block my mascara that's one thing that i troubleshooted and i found this with so many of my different mascaras if you use a setting spray that has a little bit of an oil base to it it can actually break down your mascara no matter the formula so just pay attention to that when you do apply a setting spray pay attention to the formula and maybe just be careful to apply it around the eye area to make sure that your mascara really, really lasts as long as possible. So I'm just gonna block this with my mirror and just spritz it on the sides of my face, avoiding my mascara. And then I'm just gonna go back over everything with my sponge one more time. Last but not least, I'm gonna use my Milani Clear Brow Gel. I love this stuff so much. And I just feel like a fluffy brow, a bold lash, a pink cheek, and a simple lip really just does something to me. I just love that effect. So I'm gonna really try to fluff up the brows. This stuff is like super glue. My brows do not budge once this sets, which I love, especially when you're trying to achieve a more fluffy brow look and you want it to last all day. This is a great brow gel for that. So this is definitely what I feel like will be my personal go-to look for 2021. It's simple, it's clean, it's literally clean with so many of the products that I used, having much better formulas. I just feel like moving into that, especially for everyday makeup, is gonna be something that I'm really into this year. And so I'm really excited that I discovered so many amazing clean products, especially this Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. Again, I will have the website down below, and if you wanna try it, be sure to use the coupon code. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this, and again, thank you so much to Bite Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I felt like it was the perfect partnership, especially since I developed a genuine love for this product and I couldn't wait to tell you guys about it anyway. Whether this video was sponsored or not, I was gonna tell you guys about it. It's just that good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I would love to know what vibe you guys are going into when it comes to makeup looks for 2021. Tell me what products you're gonna be reaching for. Tell me what your makeup aesthetic is going to be this year, especially for every day. I would love to hear from you guys and see if we have a similar vibe or if you guys are doing something different than what I'm gonna be doing. I'd love to know in the comments below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. Again, I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed this look and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.